so here we are going to discuss about our memories so first we have to design the memories using our HDL and we are going to verify the design simulation using our Xilinx software so I can open the Xilinx first so here it is Xilinx 14.5 so right click this one and choose open it's opening so next so we have to close the already available projects so go to file and choose close project and now again go to file and click new project so now a new project window will open so there give the name as memory next so we can give s so choose the specifications that is the family of our FPGA part and tree and package and speed and all so click next and click finish so now in our design window we can find the file name which are created is displaying using the folder so after this you have to add the Verilog file so for that we'll go for highlighting our device and right click it and choose new source so you now our new source wizard will open here go for Verilog module so and click memory click next and click S and give next and finish so now remove this one and I can paste my code so here you can type the code and ensure that all, all our inputs are properly input keywords are properly placed so here the register should be in small letters so these are the keywords those should be in our violet the blue color so once we verify this one and we can save this and we are getting a syntax error here assign equal to end and can give equal to can save this one and again an error we can check that so how to give the variable name so q equal to so this is our module name so inside the module we have to define our input so it is our 8 bit input and uh, input address that is the address in our memory we will be having an address as well as data to be stored so address is a 5 bit number and here our input is an sorry address is a 6 bit number and uh, input is our 8 bit number then again we have to do clock and reset as our, as our input then we can go for using the error available in our syntax so for that go for the design window and choose the option of check syntax so once we get the green tick mark we can move for seeing the RTR schematic for our, for our memory module So this is our um, memory module, this is our RTL view, so here we can check the inputs, so here clock, reset and uh, address and data are inputs and address is our 6 bit uh, bit value and our data is 8 bit, next is our output, so output is also 8 bit value, so we have to check whether uh, the data we are giving is stored in our specified address and uh, it can be uh, read out or not we are going to check it by means of simulation so we can see the expanded view of our RTL so inside that had a the flip flop as well as a RAM module in order to store the data the so RAM module is present so then after this we can go for creating the test bench so for that highlight the chip and 
go for new source and this time we have to choose the option of verlock text picture we have to give them name as memory underscore test so next give next and click s since we have already tried that one the same file name is replacing that so once we have created the test bench now switch to the simulation part so we have to choose the simulation part and highlight make sure that the uh, text bench file we have created is highlighted and go for again a behavioral check syntax and click simulate behavior model and choose run now our our window will get open and here we have to give the value for our data first so i'm going to click force constant and going to give the value then click apply and then click ok next our address bits so our address bits are 1000 okay apply okay so next thing is we have to make our clock value so for that we can check our code so in memory module whenever our clock is at positive edge the process will begin so while the process begin we have to make sure that our reset should also be set so once the reset is set and our data will be stored in our address and we have to then address will be stored in our address register so data will be stored in our ram uh, in the specified address so later our queue will be containing the values stored in our ram address so we can based upon this concept we can go for forcing the value so i'm going to force the value for my clock as positive value that is our one value which indicates the positive edge so next is our reset value i am going to set the reset so i'm going to give the value as one so click ok we have to save the file and choose run so once it completed so you can go for this one so now uh, once our clock is one and reset is one our our data is zero zero so that got placed in our zero zero now again we can check the change the data value so force constant and change the data value click apply click ok and also we ensure that we should change our clock pulse from zero so once we give zero which indicates negative pulse we have to save it again we have to run it again we have to run it again and again we have to force the clock value so force constant give the value as zero click apply click ok and again set the value as force constant as zero as zero ok now we can again save the file and run and check the changes so some mistake we have stuck up with mistake Okay, you can again run, rerun all. You can relaunch this one. Initially, what we did wrong is we hadn't given the exact precision value for our address bits. So actually, the precision is six bit, but we have only given the value for five bits. So that is the problem. Similarly, here for data also, uh, I have given all the eight bit number. So here address I have only given the value as uh, here is the random value. So we have to correctly give the precision. So the six bit means it should always give the six bit value. So here as per the condition, as per the code we have written, uh, whenever our positive edge of clock is reached, our reset will be uh, the reset is set. Whatever the address in that address, this data will be stored. And in the output, we can read out the data. So here what I have given is present in our clock present in our um, output port so we can check it again so we can go for providing the clock value as 
force constant clock equal to 1. So next is give apply and click OK. Next again click reset and give value as 1. Click apply and click OK. Then you can provide the value of our address. So it should be in 6 bit. So 5 zeros and 1 1. So next is 6 bit is 1. Next I have to give the value for my data to be stored in my memory. So this is the data I wish to store in my memory. So I can save this one and I can go for run. So you can see here. Now our data got right in our memory and now we have to read it also. This is our 1010 is the data we have written here. So after this process we have to go for kit implementation. So for that we have to ensure that all our uh, implement design uh, can, uh, parameters has to be check mark and we have to add a constraint file that is our pin description file after that we have to do boundary scan to identify our kit and we can easily uh, dump the program into a kit and verify